Thank you very much indeed. It's warm-up time here. We are live on five and, uh, well, I don't know about you at home, but I am really excited at the thought of what we're going to witness this evening. We've got uh, Korea's Yang Ha-yoon uh, teamed up against Sotasini Soetabot for the bronze medal. And we're underway at the moment with first point to the Korean. And I think, actually, Yang Ha-yoon would certainly be the favourite here. She, uh, she was a little bit unlucky in the previous round, the semi-final. I must say, her outing against Go Yu Ting was very, very interesting. It was 4-1 in the end, and I, I guess you could say that uh, Yu Ting was just too strong for her. But, um, the most important message that we got as far as the public here in Singapore is concerned was that Isabel Lee is absolutely on form at the moment. She swept aside Sutasini Suetaba by a four-love margin. It was a little bit tight the first and the last game, 11-9, 11-9, but in between that, 11-6, 11-6, it was just super stuff. And she read the match, read the game so well. I was fearing that the tie would put a lot of pressure on. But in the end, it was a very exciting morning's activity for Isabel Lee, and she now has a guaranteed silver medal. We'll cover that later on. And so Weta Buck, you see, already has shown her class as well. This is for the bronze medal. Good crowd here, anticipating a fabulous uh, evening of great entertainment. The final of the boys and girls is coming up afterwards. Okay, they're beginning to open up a little bit. There's no cat and mouse there. That was absolutely uncompromising. Stimulus response. Fast action. And that is a, a very interesting... Uh, well, she just missed it, but it's a good, solid service, isn't it? It's a, it's a variation of the Ouija serve that was first started in Japan. There's, where there's a lot, huge amount of side spin. Developed, obviously, and favoured by Soetaba. Young Hayun is uh, very disappointed because she'd had a very good tournament up until meeting Gu Yiting. backhand bat. She looks totally in control, doesn't she? Unruffled. She's got all her plans in her head. She knows what she's going to try to do, and at the moment it's very effective. Lots of variety, lots of top spin on that one. And that is really good play from Soeta, but started out with some undercuts and then heavy, heavy top spin backhand and forehand. And this is a great start for the tie. Disappointed that she wouldn't uh, get into that. That main gold-silver final, but having got over that disappointment, she's really bringing out her A game here. Oh, she misses that one. And Nine seven, she's got the service, so she can dictate which side at least the rally starts. Some players like that, uh, the black side, to begin with the forehand. Zoretaba. She prefers the red for the forehand.
Oh, that's strong. That's good work. Yang Ha Yun, after struggling a little bit in the middle part, yeah, just nods, looks at her coach and says, yep, yeah, that's better, isn't it? Do you like that? Good backhand. Oh, it's tight. And at 9 10. Hyun has got to come back again. Good rally. Solid. It's all backhands, now the forehands. Good stuff. That is absolutely dynamic play from Sutasini Sawetabut to take the first game. And this, the bronze medal match in the girls' singles competition. It's been a fantastic day. We've really enjoyed it. Look at the crowd there. Absolutely buzzing. But that ball down the line on the backhand side from Sawetabut, it just shows how good Isabel Lee was earlier today to take her out in four. 11-9 was the score in the first. Yang Hayun has got a lot of work to do. And I think that's exactly what the coach is saying. She had a close encounter against Frances uh, Celine Pang. That was in the uh, early stages. Quite a while ago now, it feels like Saturday. She had a, an easy run out against Olga Blizny. That was 3 now. She had an even easier run out against uh, Ivoso. Mafuta from the Congo, 3-0. And then, listen to this, Yang Ha Yun beat Isabel Lee also 3-0 in the group stages, in the second uh, stage. She then uh, just lost out to Matea Yeager and then beat uh, Ariel Singh of the USA. She also beat in the quarterfinals Olga Bliznit and that put her up against Guya Ting of China in the semi-final this morning. She lost it 4-1. So it's been an eventful tournament for Yang Hayun. I'll give you uh, Sutasini's profile and how she got to this stage after the next game. I tell you, this is high quality stuff. It's one of the sports at which the youths of the world can compete at a very, very commensurate level with the, uh, the seniors. They really have got extraordinary good command of the skills involved and necessary for this at the top level. It's very impressive. Oh, speed of backhand there. It's not just the reflex of picking up the ball, it's what you do with it. And that was excellent play from Hayun. Has played in senior events, of course, on the circuit this year already. So she has been certainly out and about in great triumph. 16 years old. Her opponent, Sowetabat, is 15 years old. She's got two, five in the serve. This is that one. It's fast, it's furious, and it's certainly going Ha Yun's way in the second game at 7-2. Little bit off balance there, forced back by again some very, very speedy action from the Thai girl. Well, the serve, it 
might feel a little bit peculiar but look at the side spin as it comes out there beautifully set up okay she wins the point at uh, four eight eight four now but Hai Yun will probably see this home this is a best of seven uh, bronze medal final first to reach four Oh, that's clever. That is really so clever. There's no attempt to defend particularly. They want to get on the attack, turn defense into attack as quickly as possible. But they are varying the angles on that table unbelievably well. Speed is one thing, but watch the difference in angle now. Yes, brilliant. Superb play for 9-5. You imagine what it's like. We're looking at this from a distance, through the lens of a camera, quite a long way away. You imagine what it's like at the table, the speed of reaction required. And that was a big error, and that will be now. 5-10. Loads of game points. And that just shows how much spin there was on that one. It went sideways from Hayun. Almost at right angles. Ooh! And that is out, and uh, a leveling of the scores here by the Korea, a uh, Korean Yang Hayun. Sudasini Sowetabat just losing away a little bit, but I'm not sure whether or not it's Sowetabat's uh, form or whether it was Hayun who increased her very, very big range of shots and talent there. I promised you that I'd go through. The Sutasini Sowetabat uh, record. She played Hungary's Mercedes Nagvaradi in the first and won it 3 2. She also beat Maria Sao from Portugal 3 2. She then accounted for Islam Laid of Algeria 3 Love. And then beat Olga Bliznet 3 1, who also got through, of course, to the uh, quarterfinals. She then had a really close encounter against Brit uh, Erland of the Netherlands. It was 3-2. At that stage, they were playing the best of five in those stages. And uh, in the final match of her stage, she beat Caroline Kumahara of Brazil, 3-love. And then against Ayuka Tanioka in the quarterfinals, it was 4-0. So that was an extraordinary achievement. Don't forget that Tanioka beat uh, Isabel Lee in an earlier stage round as well and then she came up against Isabel Lee this morning and lost it for love that was a tremendous effort so the girl in blue there right in the middle of the shot having performed throughout uh, the two days of competition fantastically well then met a very resilient Isabel Lee and lost it for love so that'll judge will give you an idea of how Isabel played this morning so waiter butts got a two love in the third It's cracking. It is absolutely cracking. Superb for three. Like I said, you will get a measure of how well Isabel played when you see that kind of rally. I don't think either of these know the word defend. They don't like the chop game. They love the topspin. Backhand and forehand topspin. Which is actually, when you think about it, that's unusual, isn't it, for the Korean Ha Yun. You'd think that her, her basic instinct, knowing a lot of the Korean style of play, particularly the female side, they know how to go backwards and chop and defend and force errors from the opponent. Not this one. Oh, that's a good serve. It's 4-1. And the crowds here in the Singapore Indoor Stadium have been absolutely fascinated by this. They are really taking advantage of some great opportunity to see brilliant play. It's as good as, and it, as exciting as any adult competition. You had a good idea there, but... Uh, 
Just got a bit excited. Came to the net very well. 3 5. She's looking at the side of her bat there, but that was, you know, having played some dead bats and got the ball back, she then tried to get on the attack and went well long. So it's now, I think it's five all. Four all, bigger one. Yeah, well, in the middle there, there's that, that single backhand, and it really did put her off. Ha Yun was able to continue with solid backhands. And if you get into the rhythm of one, and then you try to change, it just puts so much pressure on the mind as well as the body. <laughs> Missed that one as well. So after taking a really solid lead, took a 3-0 lead, she's now finding herself 6-4 down. That will hurt. There's one timeout allowed, of course, in the match. Not time for that to be called right yet. Oh, that was right in the corner. It was superbly done. Absolutely fabulous. There, the coach will maybe, although it's a bit early, to consider a timeout. After a three love lead, look at the score line. It's reversed. It's 7 4. She's now given up a three advantage is now conceding three points and I tell you what young Ha Yun has suddenly found her range her rhythm and I think the thought that she's battling for a, a first medal in the Youth Olympics has just left her she's now concentrating and focusing on playing the game and all the mental side is right into the energies of winning. And this is unbelievable. Look at that. From 3-love up to 4-9 down. Soetaba has lost her way. And again it's 10-4. Anybody old enough to remember 10 4 over and out? I do. I think you've probably got to be over 60 to remember that. It's 10 4, it could be over and it could be out, and it is. It's 11 4, and that is an extraordinary game. I don't think we've witnessed anything quite like that. Starting up that third game, Sutta Sini Zoetabat was absolutely in control. She picked up the first three points and looked as if she was really, really going to attack this uh, bronze medal program. But look at that. She only won one more point. And Yang Ha Yun took 11. Wow. are under huge pressure as well look at those eyes he's tired he's dreaming of better things this was a day that he wanted to be in the gold finally he's not made it now he wants to win the bronze medal and struggling it's a tough old game isn't it being a coach because you can't do anything about it once the charges are out there you can just recommend make little notes pick up one or two things at a time to concentrate on but careers young Hyun is in good shape at the moment 2-1 in the lead it's a beautiful setup here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium of course at the Olympic Games there are no hoardings no advertising hoardings beyond the actual announcement of the of the games and the venue so there's no distractions it's a very spectacular beautiful sight here the center and the focus of attention that table glowing against the red and the lights very much lighting up a spectacular 
very impressive scene. Zoraita but she cannot afford to let it drift away from her this one. And she has just lost that one. The pace increases, and although that should really suit Sutasini, it's causing her a few problems at the moment. She's not as settled as we've seen her earlier. Good variety play there. But uh, okay. <sighs> Yun is equal to it. That's good stuff. Gee, if you could just package that particular point, Sutasini would absolutely be unplayable. Both sides of the table there, absolutely in control. Three four. And that's a good response to that uh, forehand Ouija type serve. She winds it up. It's comes up a little bit high off the table and drives in one into the corner. Great work from Hyun. And another point here, and this is looking serious for Thailand. In truth, over the series, I think Yang Hyun probably deserves to take the bronze. She has been very consistent. And there at six, seven, three, three, seven. Oh, that's unbelievable. Doesn't matter what level you're playing, senior level or youth or cadet. That kind of play is spectacular. Look at them way back off the table and they're still controlling that ball. Great works the way to back. Oh, she missed it. Wow, a little lucky there. Maybe that beat the break that she wanted. Suttasini, she thinks that she's dead. Oh, hey. A little lucky break there as uh, Ha Yun got very excited, tried to bury it. It wasn't even killed yet. It's 7 5. It came on a little bit strongly. Again, that heavy top spin, it's just doing so much damage at the moment. rounds and even the quarterfinal so way to buck couldn't stick that one down and that really is going to be a providing super opportunity for Hayun. it's a strange matchup this we get we're getting some really really super stuff you know both players trying to control the table at the net it's all very aggressive and then you get two or three points Errors. Well, that was the entertaining side of it, but uh, not for Soweto but and not for Thailand. It's 10 6, and this for a 3 1 lead then. The ambition is to get to 4. All right quite done but certainly young the way that she's busying herself around there to the table just touches it then goes back 
she knows with a three-point advantage and three game points she should close this out that's it it's 11-7 in the fourth and Yang Ha Yun is really really taking hold of this one she's got it almost done the bronze medal match here live on five from the Singapore Indoor Stadium this is really the precursor the hors d'oeuvre if you like of something really special a main dish will be coming up in a moment with Isabel Lee up against Wu Yuting of China but in the meantime the warm-up act is right here so Weta Butt is suffering a little bit she plays a really strong game but she's been forced into errors by Yang Hayun just in case you're wondering how they get to this final it's all about uh, 32 players in fact in the, in the girls game there was one that pulled out so 31 all told eight groups uh, they all played in uh, those eight groups that four in each of those groups so they all played three in the first stage then the top two went through to stage two and the one to sixteens the top two from then went through to the quarterfinals the knockout stage and then of course at the knockout stage it's all about getting through to this level so the top four played off this morning in the semi-finals and the losers are at the table now So Eta Buck, she looks calm and collected, but she must be really annoyed. She's had her chances. Ha Yun, her experience on a more senior level is beginning to pay off. Oh no. That's very, very quick hands, isn't it? Great variation, great change. And again, the crowd into it. They're not cheering, but they're certainly applauding very respectfully here because that was a great rally. One, two. Again, it's all very frenetic stuff, isn't it? A little bit of thunder and lightning once that ball comes into play. herself in good position couldn't uh, execute and there uh, you can see just a little bit of a wry smile thinking oh man come on I had it there we are going to get a little bit of a timeout now and you know I think that's a good call from the Thai coach he needs to just calm her down a little bit there's one more chance she was competing beautifully on the backhand side then decided the option to play on the forehand with a heavy bit of shoulder whip as well and missed it in the lead she's now lost that it's 3-2 in the Korean Yang Hayun yeah sure you're doing well keep it going more of the same they are very aware of the cameras we are intimidating we're very intrusive you want a camera pointed at them at work eh? Timeout was for one minute. It was called by Thailand. Sutasini Saweta Bhatt has only really got this chance now to push hard. She had a fantastic matchup against Tanioka. Ayuka Tanioka was favorite really to go through the semi-finals. She beat her for love. So she has shown that she has that competitive spirit. And she's got the skills. Ah Yun beat uh, Olga Bliznit in the quarterfinals for love it was a good effort it's 13-11 in the uh, in the last one but it's uh, it's the Asian players who have come to the top of the tree 
the Europeans competed to a certain level but then couldn't go any further up. It's for all in the fifth. There was a little bit more length on that uh, forehand, wasn't there? It didn't give Ha Yun a chance to get it down, and then it was returned with interest. Good work, yeah? Okay, there you go, a little nod of acceptance. It's 5-4, shorter this time, and gives her problems. Maybe she should try to get a bit more length on that service. I think the problem is that Yang Ha Yun is getting used to it. She knows what to expect. The serve is such an important part of the game. And now at 6-5, Ha Yun is five points away from a medal. Those coaches, certainly the most excited at the moment, will be the Korean. Good, solid backhand. It really is very, very quick action stuff. No time to think, it's all reflex. And at 5 7, she will be receiving. Ha Yun will be very confident. We've got the team events coming up tomorrow, starting tomorrow, of course. So, still action at the tables. Right after this will be the men's bronze medal match. It's 9-5, and Yang Ha-yun is uh, maintaining her position as favorite for this bronze. Missed out on that one. I think this is last chance saloon now for Sutasini Suatabat. She must score here. Two or three more points. She's got to put some pressure on. Ah. It's not going to happen. It's match point, and that's what we think there. Ha Yun will have been hugely disappointed with her performance this morning, but now in the bronze medal match, she has found her form. It's now. Bronze medal point. That's it. An absolutely super, super display from Yang Ha Yun. Consistency, excellent control, the backhand particularly. She didn't have to resort to a great defense. Sutasini, Sawedabat from Thailand, probably was uh, responsible for a lot of the points that she gave away there. And although we can see the signatures, yes, I've competed, and that is confirmation of my score. I must say, the ties will be pretty disappointed. They celebrated last week winning the badminton boys and girls events. But uh, at the moment, there you can see it was 4-1 in favor of Yang ha -yun. Having lost the first, she took up the next four, and that was very, very impressive. So bronze medal then to Korea. We'll come back for the boys' bronze medal match in just a while. Join me back at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. We'll take a break.